This is a theme song. Music is stupid. Music is dumb. You're listening to notes now. Why for how come? <clears throat> that was a theme song. Okay, we're gonna play some Stardew Valley. Uh, why do guys have such curly hair? Hey! Grandpa is gonna die. Gonna eat a burrito. Oh, I get the burrito. There's a camera on me. I'm a sleeper here. Come on! A burrito! Yeah, dear shot, if you're reading this, this is just a tr Uh, you got a farm. Stardew Valley, eh? I said I was. Is birdie. This looks like a lot of work. Uh, oh, wow. I got a nice wallpaper. I got some parsnip seeds. Take the damn seeds back. I think I've had a pretty full day. Uh, luck's not on my side. I guess I should go back to bed. Oh, it's raining out. I don't want to do anything today. I know how to cook stir fry. I don't I have like ABC or Fox or what? It won't let me sell it. Sauce, green sauce, green sauce. You're teaching other mouth about a recipe for a secret. It's a secret dish. It is coleslaw and vision grand blind mounds of chili. And put them alone in the coleslaw in the back of the cave. And then make sure you close juicy cabbage for this one. Toss a little vinegar and mayonnaise. You're all set. That's crisp meatball. You learn how to coleslaw. Oh, Off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Yes, salmon berry season it comes to the countryside. You get a lot of salmon berries. They feel good in your tummy, and you get a little extra cash if you take the tummy. And you go home, and there's someone in your bathroom, and <laughs> he's like, he's going through your garbage. Uh, Welcome back to the Daily Show is Patrick Oliver. We're gonna talk about the guy who's doing the doing the country right now. He's got the country in the big palm of his hand. He goes, I, and everyone goes, what's going on with that guy? Because he puts the things on the net, and then people go, oh, uh, we're all gonna get nuked. That's, I think that's what he'd say.
Nez cartoons. I'm gonna watch some cartoons. Weather report. Welcome to Cozy Five. I'm Mickey Mouse. Expect lots of pollen. And watch out for the bad guy Bluto. He has a lot of bad tendencies that cause a lot of people to stress. I don't know. Welcome to Cozy Five, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. Now listen to close folks for tomorrow. There's going to be a bad storm. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow. And sunstorm. My hair is weird. You know, go out of your way to make your life difficult. I was going to do some farming today, too. I can't use my chair. Weather, weather teller. Welcome back to Wix Oracle. If you like knowledge of the furniture, you've come to the right. <laughs> hey, it seems like this place don't mind your farm could use a little good dog. No. No? Okay, I'll find a different home for the poor thing. <laughs> the spirits are very displeased today. They'll do their best to make your life difficult. That sounds like a good day for a baddie bye. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I hope that earthquake sorted itself out. Send in smoke signals. Greetings, it is I, Queen of Sauce, here to teach you mouth rot and rest me secret cookbook this week's dish is bologna sandwich. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. You need a second chef around just to keep from having to encounter another bite. Watch as the fish gets in your spring greens and drink. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now weather forecast for tomorrow. It's peachy green and all the people are sunny and it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. And if you look at me really carefully, you can see that I am being facetious. It's going to be a horrible day and you should stay in bed. Whatever you say, Mr. Weatherman. I've got $650 in my pocket and it's a bright brand new day. Despairage feel new today. The sun is in your hands. Ow. Getting some exercise here. I picked up the carpet. I can move the TV closer to the bed. And this is the best day of my life. Don't talk to strangers. There's a spa there, but don't take off your clothes and the steaming hot water to replenish your energy, but don't. Feels good. Don't. The bed will also replenish your energy. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. If you want some entertainment, don't come here, because it's only weather. Hey, 
Which is I, the queen of sauce, here to teach you a new mouthwad and recipe. Did you get out of bed last night and act all weird? That was into my doing it all. This week's dish is... Satan. Satan making can be a very complex form of art, but it makes it simple. For you, most important ingredients is Satan, of course. But if you create enough dough, you'll get a 666 of our yeast. They prefer warm water and a little something to feed on. I use plant sugar, but you should have taken the dock in. Maple syrup will do. You learned how to cook bird. I want to look out the window and see all the people go wee. <coughs> Uh, okay. Uh, greetings as I, Queen of Sauce, here to teach you how to kill a man. First, you'd cut out his heart, and you saute it with a nice garlic relish, and then you uh, put it in... in, in in his intestines and make a burrito. I'm not Satan. The Queen of Sauce is your master. Worship the Queen of Sauce. Worship the Queen of Sauce. You learned how to cook trout soup. Christos, virgin off. There's any SpongeBob on. Hey, Mr. Krabs, I'm SpongeBob. I've got a new viewer who joined us. A young man named Squidward. <laughs> oh, Queen of Sauce is on. Greetings, it is I, Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouse bothering recipe from my fish cookbook. She floating. Maybe I can fill my place with water. My plants aren't gonna grow. Ah yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. Go back to sleep. Artichoke dip is a delightful way to get more artichokes in your body. Personally, I don't even dip anything in there. Just guzzle the sauce down. It's like milkshake. Dash. Way fancy, complicated dish, but sometimes a comfort sip pancake. You want to put some butter, maple syrup, slather it all over the warm stacks, and go. Oh, your spirits feel natural today. You gotta do a lot of things with your hands. Greetings and decide the Queen of Hearts! Tree seeds with chopping some wood. You can plant those seeds in the ground. New tree will go. Good creative. I can plant trees. Done. Spirits are somewhat perturbed today. Good night. Tomorrow, I expect a few inches of snow tomorrow. Snow. Oh my god! What happened? It's all gone! Is anyone even alive anymore? Artichoke dip. This is a delightful way to get your artichokes into your body. Personally, I like them all over my body. Any dip. You just push it into your gullet and guzzle the sauce down like it's a horrible milkshake. Welcome to another episode of Living Off the Land with your host, Blackie Miss Steve. Yes, Queen of Sauce, how may I serve you? Pumpkin pie! 
In my house, it's tradition to eat a pumpkin pie during the Feast of Winter Star. You just eat it right in front of its entire family. The season just isn't complete without that wonderful flavor and the sounds of screaming pumpkins. Uh, I love a little nutmeg and cinnamon and a clove of garlic. It'll sweep you off your feet with crimson and gold. I learned how to cook the pumpkin pie. I think I should stop watching this show. I've been sleeping for one year. I've got out of open doors. I'm watching the side of the TV. Why is forecast for tomorrow? You got a feather. You got a feather. Good job. You can put it in a pillow. You can hold it in a po pony. You can go to the bed. Pizza. There's reason a pizza is a timeless culinary classic. You got artisan and golden brown crust. You've got the blood of an innocent virgin. You got garlic infused marinara sauce. You topped it off with my water and three cheese bread. You got a big pepperoni. Spirits feel like a spinning ball of glowing today. Where is she? Where is the queen of sauce? Oh, I must sauce. Hey, my soul. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow. Why? What are you doing standing so close to the TV? You. You there. I'm looking right at you. What are you doing? Back up. This week's dish is fork loaf. You can put fork loaf in the fork and... You can cut it at a fork and eat it. The fork, but it doesn't taste the best. I'm a Stardew Valley speedrunner. Just go outside and see for yourself. Let's see what's outside. Oh, man. Today on Stardew Valley. I'm awake. Back to bed. Next time on Stardew Valley. Blackberry Cobbler. This one always reminds me of cobbled street roads. You can put it in your belly. You can put it on the ground and you can walk on it in a night in England where Jack the Ripper is coming for you. You watch out. That cobbler is gonna get you. He can, he's gonna come get you with his knife and stab you. Like, and he's gonna escape from the police down a back alley. It's another bright sunny day in the neighborhood. Gonna do some sleeping next to know it's good. Waking up, gonna go to bed. Check TV, nothing's on. Oh, Queen of Sauce. Hey, greetings. It's I, Queen of Sauce, here to teach you some mouthwater recipes from my secret cookbook this week's dish. Fiddlehead Raw Zidio. Fiddlehead beautiful are beautiful, but you can bland them up with the blander. You can have a careful attention to your spices you add. Put them in the blander and go vroom, and then you have a spicy good fiddlehead rosito. But don't take my help for it. Go have your best chance achieving it. Poppy seed poopy poops. Poppies make poopy ornamental flowers. Why not take these poopy flowers and put them in delightful muttons? You can put these muttons in your mouth and they'll taste like nice flavor. Anyone seen that new Spider-Man movie with Gene Kelly and the guy from uh, The Office? Should probably go out and farm a little today. Almost out of time. That's enough farming for a day. Oh my god! It's Grandpa! Did I do you proud, Grandpa? I did a lot of farming. 
this farm hasn't changed much, but that's okay. If you're enjoying your new life, that's all that matters to me. I am enjoying my new life, Grandpa. I'm glad. Far thee well, young one. Get some sleep, you look tired. Okay, Grandpa. Hey, everyone, I did it. Oh, there's a note over there. What? Ugh. Ugh. How do I get to your note? Yeah, this is the hardest I've ever worked. I made it. Wait a year for wait for me to return on the dawn of your third year. Are you serious?